All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a movie slash TV show app that actually does work. A lot of you have commented and may have noticed that a lot of streams or apps, Cody, you're not getting to work. And there's reasons for that. A lot of things have changed in the last few days. And reasonings behind that, are, there's... um few things going on with cody and stuff like that but stay tuned uh, i do have a few things in progress i'm gonna post uh turn the notifications on so you do get notified when i do post it it'll be in the next couple days just waiting for a couple things to sort out and real quick before i show you guys how to get it i'm gonna talk about this real quick uh a few people have said when they click on it, they're like, oh, it's $99. Well, once you click on the link that will be in the description below, once you click on it and you go to the top right corner, press the info bar, which is the three lines, you'll see something that says uh, my prices or pricing. And there's for one month, a year, two years, which is where that $99 comes in. That's for two years. Now, mind you, no matter what uh, service you pick, it works up to 10 devices. They could all be running at once. So on your phone, your computer, Fire Stick, multiple Fire Sticks if you have a smart TV. So go ahead, check out the link below. Um, it's going to be right in the top. And you could read some more on there about it and also check out the prices. So if you see that first price, once you click on it, don't get spooked or anything like that. There's That's for two years. There is multiple different options. And yeah, just give it a shot and there is money back guarantee and also 24 hour customer service. Now let's get into how to get this. So if you have never downloaded any app before, we're gonna go all the way over to settings. Now, once we go to settings, you're gonna scroll over to, we can go to this first, preferences. And then you're going to click on privacy settings. Make sure all three of these are turned off. And why we're doing this is so we're able to get these third party apps, APKs, anything like that. Now you're going to scroll over to My Fire TV. On yours it might say My Device, depending if you got the newer one, the older one. Developer options. Make sure the first one is turned off, second one is turned on. It may be off on yours, so just turn it on. You're going to get this. Go ahead. Turn it on. Now just press the home button. And again, if you've never done anything like this or downloaded anything, we're going to want that one better. Real easy to get. You're going to press the search button. And you could either say with the voice remote downloader or just click D. And it's literally right there. Again, it's this orange icon. Go ahead, download it. And if you don't see it right here in your apps, just go to see all until you find it. Now, we're going to click on it. And I already have it set up. So you're going to want to type this in exactly like you see it. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash troypoint.com slash Nova. Now, once you get that done, go ahead and pause it if you need to. That will be in the description as well. Press the play button. It's going to download it. Now, once it's downloaded, it's going to pull up a full screen. You can go ahead, scroll down, I'll show you, and then we're going to install. And with this too, we're not going to need any, uh, uh, I mean, if you have MX Player, fine, good, but we're not going to have to download any of that because it is going to prompt you to download the one that works best with Nova TV. So you see now, you guys are going to go down, press install, go ahead, click it, let it install. And then once it's done, you're going to get this, click delete, delete again, press the home button, and again, it's, this is what it's going to look like. 
now you can go to see all if it's not again if it's not all right there go ahead find it press the info button the three bars move to front now on the home screen it's gonna be right there go ahead open it now like I said I watched two movies on here before even debating about putting it up just to make sure that it works and there's so many streams available it's ridiculous now here you go it's gonna start out with TV shows and I'm just gonna switch it to movies real quick and then you're gonna get discover trending and all that this movie right here is a really good movie that's one of the ones I watched and you can also scroll all the way over so it says see all and then you'll click on a movie choose a movie you're gonna press play and initially it might take I don't want to say a long time but about 30 seconds or so because it's gonna pull up literally at almost hundred streams there's a lot of streams and uh, once they do pull up I'll show you there's a lot available and even if you do have a little bit slower internet once you see how they pull up I don't click on these ones that say CVN you'll see why in a second but I do like why how it says speed normal quality very high I like that about this app But once more start coming on, it'll say like these right here, HQ 1.3 gigs. Any of the ones with the numbers, two gigs. Obviously, that's gonna be the higher quality, speed high, quality normal, quality high. That's gonna be the better ones. Those first few that popped up, don't click on those only because they're probably camera or bootleg. These are actually good quality ones. So you just click one. And like I said, the lower the number over here, obviously the one gig, two gig, that's going to be, you're going to want fast, real quick internet for that. But even these ones, they're still really good. You're going to click it. Um, this is where it might prompt you to click, uh, to install one player. Go ahead and install it because that's going to be the one that works the best with this app. And then you would press play and then the bar is going to come up right here. And this too initially will take, I don't know, about 20 seconds. But once it starts playing, you're not going to get any buffering. As long as you got a good internet connection, once again. It may be quicker, depending on your internet, but it takes about 20, 25 seconds. So don't, as long as you don't get a message that says no stream, don't let this bother you, because it will play. Uh, I don't want to let too much play because I don't want to get a copyright strike or any of that stuff. But yeah, it'll do this for about 20 seconds and then it'll, 20, 30 seconds, and then it'll start playing the movie. And I believe I clicked on Terminator. So with this one, in particular, just this movie. If you do uh, watch this, it starts out with one of the old movies, so the quality does look kind of iffy, but that's the way it's supposed to for about the first two minutes of the movie. Now, when it starts to stop like that, it's going to start playing. Now, see, since I did click on one of the lower quality ones, it's got this down here, and you can see the picture is not good. Just, just like on Cody, the lower you go down the streams, um, the not so good it is. But if you uh, go towards the top where it's like two gigs, that's gonna be the best, really good quality, um, like 1080 or even 4K. And also, like if you just seen that click on something that was like half a gig, so that's why. Um, that's just how they compact or compress the file to be able to put it up here. That's just whoever put the stream on here that's how they did it but other than that that's how uh, you guys are going to be able to watch at least right now uh, movies TV shows turn your post notifications on so you can see when I post 
these other videos and more tutorials. But for right now, if there is anything else you guys want to see, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I am active when you, in the comments, uh, good or bad. Let me know what you guys want to see or if you have seen something. Let me know. I can let everybody else know about it too. If you guys have an app that's working really, really good. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in a couple days or maybe even tomorrow depending on if everything sorts out with some of the stuff with Cody and stuff like that. I will post a video as soon as possible, but other than that, this is uh, probably one of the best apps out there right now, or APK, whatever you guys want to call it, for watching movies and TV shows, and I just posted a video. I'll put a card, it'll pop up in the uh, top right corner of your guys' video uh, on how to watch live sports and pay-per-views. So see you guys in the next video.